Tonight, a community in Aurora is calling for three police officers to be charged with murder. As after a man died after police putting him in two chokeholds, Elijah McLean walked home with groceries when someone reported him as suspicious because he was wearing a ski mask. Dylan Thomas covering the story for us in Aurora tonight. Dylan, the family says they watched the video of this arrest. Karen, they described it as both heartbreaking and cruel. Aurora police made them agree not to release or record any of that video when they had the opportunity to review it. They say they believe what they saw proved their son was murdered. He was a happy young man. He was always energetic. Described as loving and unique. Elijah McLean is a man who was never once arrested in his entire life. 23-year-old Elijah McLean's family now has to speak for him. In August, McLean was walking home from the store with groceries wearing a ski mask, which his family says was not unusual. A passerby called 911 saying McLean was acting odd. Elijah McLean had no weapon, and that's what the 911 caller said. Moments later, Aurora police contacted him. They slammed him up against the wall, they tackled him to the ground, and they continued to terrorize and torture him. Body cameras on three different officers dislodged, leaving only audio of the struggle. And we hear him begging, we hear him identifying himself, we hear him saying, I've got my ID, please stop, you're hurting me, I can't breathe. Aurora police issued a statement saying McLean initially resisted arrest, something the family disputes. Police would not release video to the public at this time, but did let the family watch. It was difficult. It was very hard to, to see how everybody reacted inhumane. It was like there was no real compassion or concern in the room. Leading Elijah's parents to call for an independent investigation. You will be held accountable for what you've done. We do not think it fair for those who murder with the badge to continue to hide behind those committed to honoring the badge. Now we should note that the chokehold tactic used in this situation has been banned by many local agencies here in Colorado, but not in Aurora. Aurora police say they will not release the video until the investigation is complete. Live in Aurora, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.